Uh, hi, my name is Amy. This is my friend Michael. Hi. And today we're going to take this uh, $120 portable bandsaw from Harbor Freight yep. and turn it into a horizontal bandsaw because yep. you have a cool project. Yeah. So for my project, I need to part this cylindrical stock, uh, 6061 aluminum, I need to part it up into different length sections to put it on my mill and make some parts out of it. So trying to do it by hand, the uh, the cuts weren't super square, even if I was really careful. So with horizontal bandsaw, we should be able to get nice square cuts every time. Yeah, let's uh, give it a shot. Yep, sounds good. Okay, so we had a look at all the screws on the saw, and we decided to uh, make a plate to mount to these four here. Uh, we want went ahead and got some slightly longer screws. And uh, from here, our plan is to use two by fours to attach some kind of an arm that hinges to a plywood base. wood here because the blade is not the lowest part of the saw so this is to elevate the workpiece to make sure that the saw cuts all the way through. Uh, we also had to add this reinforcement to the pivot here um, but now it seems sturdy enough. Uh, that's it going up and down. There's a little bit of side to side play um, and this plate flexes a little bit but we think it's close enough for a test cut so let's do that. Okay, uh, after one frantic hour, um, the frame is now much wider. There's a hinge on either end, so this is a lot more rigid than it was before. This plate was quarter inch, now it's half inch, um, so that also feels stiffer. Somehow, in the whole process of doing this, the angle of the saw changed slightly, which is why we've lifted it up a little bit higher using this. But um, we're really tired now, so we're gonna try another test cut. Fingers crossed. That's a much better cut. Okay, so why was this piece of wood here so critical to the saw functioning well? Well, if I pause to think about it, which I didn't when we were building this, the saw blade is trying to pull the workpiece into this black part rest, and the structure just isn't stiff enough to resist the closing of that air gap, which is why the block of wood is needed. Now, if we did this again, we could choose to make the stru structure much stiffer, um, but I think potentially an easier way is to move the part rest from this side to the same side as the black part rest and maybe even have the back of it be curved to match the pivot radius. And so this way there would never be a gap as the saw is cutting through the part. Um, but the quality of the cut is pretty good. So the blade was, uh, was, was this way 
and it's pretty clean that way. The blade didn't wobble too much that way. And when I measure the squareness here, it's being off by like an eighth of an inch on the other side. So some room for improvement, but yeah. Progress. I think we're gonna call it a day. <laughs> Thanks.